With all the life, the fire, and the destruction, it's clear that no anime series has had a bigger impact than so many people than Dragon Ball. The anime King of Fighters is about to turn 30 years old and has also brought us incredible video games. We had the pleasure of pl I had the pleasure of playing Dragon Ball Spark Zero for about three hours. For my help. The successor to Budokai Tenkaichi, I'll tell you right now, this is the most complete Dragon Ball game I've seen in over 15 years. After that, after all, it has spectacular fighting, 3D battles, and the, the saga that they had. My hour with Spark Zero has shown me that it has all the ingredients to be the perfect Dragon Ball game. During my gameplay, I was also able to try particularly all of the game modes, most of the game modes. Uh, I'll talk about those later. Because there's so many cool ones, but at the end, I can only think of one thing. How impressive the battles are. What would you expect? What did you expect from the Dragon Ball game? I could. The fights not only face, they're good to the faith of the series, but they also feel super dynamic, powerful, and ball. They're super fun. Making it clear everything you expect from a Budokan Tekaichi sequel. The new TV stage, both ground and air comp, air battles, key charges, counters, transformations, in short, Panda Mecha as a new game feels like home, oh, feels like it's coming home. Freaking, I thought everything has a new, you know, has a new flavor, we knew. The new game is about least, it's speed and dynamic, it's also also at the beginning of the fight that you have to be you gotta be quick with it it tests your reflexes and gives us you know epic battles mm -hmm. it's, uh, it evolves we turn to good things we saw more than a decade ago but also with new features of the new generation go into more detail as fighting game player one thing i love absolutely love has been the flow of the fights in various axes you have to consider to win. On one hand, classic combos and key blasts that will make you think about your timing couldn't be miss, missing, as well as always having to counter them. While it's true to Z, counters have returned, you also have to be vigilant. The counter counter attacks with the press of a single button that will let you break rival's attack. But you have to be careful though, because your enemy can also predict them. Dodge them and punish you. It's a tug of war while you charge your your skill meter. It's also to the basic part of the fight and the main foundation of their beginning. As the combo progresses, you will be able to access the character's various techniques. Some depend only on, on the key you'll be charging. But but there are also those new skill points which you'll get as you'll fill the meter. And in truth, this maneuvering is basic for each fight. And you'll better master its rhyme, its flow. As as for what they offer you, well they are not just attacks, but they let you push rivals. To gain a break, to gain a breather, blind them, charge your key immediately. In and even teleporting behind them without warning, they truly have very, very powerful strategy flair. To this, we must also add transformation points that will allow you to become stronger during combat at the expense of spending spending it. And this has more substance than it might seem at first because while the logic dictates that when you get them, you should use them to gain immediate advantage, you also have to think a little. These fights aren't always one-on-one, -on -one, but rather will be fighting in teams. Do you use your transformation points to gain an advantage during the first stage of the fight? Or do you wait to switch to another of your characters during the climax of the fight and use them to give them a boost? For such a frenetic, frenetic game character, very, very cool strategy guess to consider. On the other hand, as the battle progresses, the presence of your skills and your key becomes more 
and more noticeable, as you would expect from a Budokai Dragon Ball game in general. You can stop moving to charge this key, and this is where one of the of the novelty lies, the sparkling mode. If your key reaches its limit, you can continue to charge anyway. You'll enter a new state that will allow you to access the ultimate ability as well, make you even stronger. The, the battle full of destruction, dyn dynamis, and opportunities to turn the tables on the, on the DNA of Sparkling Zero. The truth is that it feels incredibly good to play once you have a controller in your hands. It's already difficult to create a fighting system that conveys responsiveness. But to do so, and for an impressive, this one is quite achievement. And that we have here, the game's huge cast character shines with its own light, thanks to a variety of different techniques. All taken from the original world, of course, transformation, absolutely dancing supers, and sparkling of a cast. We're facing a milestone here. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, your favorite character is very likely to be playable in Sparkling. With a whooping 182 characters. Yes, I'm going to repeat it. 182 characters. We're facing absolutely brutal roster this number counts the transformation of it counts the transformation obviously but that doesn't make it any less impressive and the game also reveals in detail all these fighters have a customization you can choose between several outfits to unlock unnecessary objects the gestures fusions songs and whatnot but make no mistake bandai gives us a ton of content in, with this title and it's, it's something very easy to take with each game mode and that's not all but all the content that comes with this the legendary <laughs> also legendary casual character obviously you'll, you'll have your offline and online fights a rank mode and a different types of tournaments that you can also play offline if you want and it's the same, it's the game it will generate opponents for you. But the good stuff is when talking about the episode battles and the custom battles. Whereas these episode battles will, will let you epic moments from the series from the point of view of a different character. In my time with the controller in my hands, I was able to try Goku Freezer and Goku Black in these campaigns are not only faithful to the original material but they will also be certain decisions that will alter what happens a very quick example i could choose to collaborate with piccolo or fight along with defeat raditz in addition the care taking scene how the confrontation resolve is noticeable as, as for the custom battles this is where you're going to have to content content You'll be able to create your own fights, unique storylines, special conditions, and all characters you want to include by their like Trunks and Training Piccolo or Epic Clashes like 5 on 1 or to defeat Jimmy. It's clear that the mode has been created with ambition as a, as a banner. If you want to make your own fight, I'll tell you in advance that you'll be able to create conditions that will activate different effects during the combat. This way, you'll be you'll give a new twist to the player to the battles. Once completing the creation, you can upload a Sparkling Zero database and other players to try, as well as doing the same with the others have shared in the community. That's crazy. Let's say that we'll use this. Mm -hmm. Sparkling Zero opts to rise the levels of fighters in Kakura with an artistic style that seems to take directly from the anime. If it, is, if it already looks great in photo, in motion, it is a whole spectacle of light, incredible moments, and it's epic. It's epic, it's epic in every way. Add to the fact that the game runs in 4K, 4 FPS, without breaking a sweat, 
and my girl left me with an absolute visual beauty, saying that we're facing the most impressive Dragon Ball game to date. It may sound exaggerated, but I couldn't help be more mesmerized watching every attack, every explosion, and even the way the hair and the clothes sway with the charge of the key. There's a presentation that it's not only full of detail, but also of personality. <laughs> and in the game, with so many different characters, it is nice to see that everyone treat, is treated with care, both in terms and in gameplay visual. In short, Sparkling Zero is ex everything I expected when it comes when it was when it came out. It is brutal, dynamic, epic, full of content that appeals to all fans of Akira Toriyama's work with an extraordinarily large character cast. Tons of unlockable content, campaigns, and even Zelda Deep Custom Mode. The title comes with a one goal to become the new reference for fans of Dragon Ball games. If you've been waiting years for a worthy successor to Budokai Tenkaichi 3, it's no crazy to put your faith in, it's not crazy to put your faith in Bandai Namco's new game. Now it remains to be seen that uh, I am very excited about playing this and I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments what you think of the game, if you played it and if you're gonna get it. If not, I'm out. Not to hit the like, subscribe.